Hi, I'm Elaine. And I'm Dia. Today we're going to prove the Turing equation, open quantity sine theta plus cosine theta, closed quantity, times open quantity tangent theta plus cotangent theta, closed quantity, equals secant theta plus cosecant theta. Which we will do using trig identities, formulas, and basic math knowledge. We're going to use the left side of the equation because it seems more complicated than the right side. This proof will take around nine steps. The first step that we take involves the distribution of the quantities sine theta plus cosine theta and tangent theta plus cotangent theta. So after we distribute this through with the FOIL method, we get using the first sine theta times tangent theta over here plus the outer sine theta times cotangent theta here plus the inner cosine theta times tangent theta here plus cosine theta which is the last times cotangent theta which is here. Now we have sine theta times tangent theta plus sine theta times cotangent theta plus cosine theta times tangent theta plus cosine theta times cotangent theta. Using the identity or formula, cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta, we can see that cotangent theta times sine theta equals cosine theta. So we can substitute sine theta times cotangent theta with cosine theta. Also, using the formula, tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, we can see that tangent theta times cosine theta equals sine theta. So we can substitute that with sine theta. So now we have sine theta times tangent theta plus cosine theta plus sine theta plus cosine theta times cotangent theta. Using the identity tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, we can replace tangent theta with sine theta over cosine theta. And also, using the formula cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta, we can replace cotangent theta with cosine theta over sine theta. Notice how sine theta over cosine theta is the same shape as tangent theta. And the color of sine theta is yellow, and the color of cosine theta is red. And red and yellow mixed together equals orange which is the color of tangent theta. And cosine theta over sine theta matches the shape of cotangent theta, which is the same concept as tangent theta. And also, red and yellow again equals orange, which is the color of cotangent theta. Now we have sine theta times open quantity sine theta over cosine theta closed quantity plus cosine theta plus sine theta plus cosine theta times open quantity cosine theta over sine theta closed quantity. We can see that this actually equals sine times sine over cosine theta, and this actually equals cosine theta times cosine theta over sine theta. If we replace it with this, we can see that sine theta times sine theta actually equals sine squared theta. And if we replace this with this, we can see that cosine theta times cosine theta actually equals cosine squared theta. So now we have sine squared theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta plus sine theta plus cosine squared theta over sine theta. We can see that using the identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1, that sine squared theta actually equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. So we can replace that with this. Using the same identity, we can also see that cosine squared theta actually equals 1 minus sine squared theta using the same identity. So we can replace that with 1 minus sine squared theta. So now we have open quantity 1 minus cosine squared theta closed quantity all over cosine theta plus cosine theta plus sine theta plus open quantity 1 minus sine squared theta closed quantity all over sine theta. Now that we have grouped all the cosines together and all the sines together, we can simplify. So in order to do that here, we can add this quantity to this quantity. So how do we do that? We make both of the denominators the same thing. So since this denominator is 1 and this denominator is cosine theta, the common denominator would be cosine theta. 
So we make it cosine theta by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by cosine theta so that we can get the denominator as cosine theta. So that would give us cosine squared theta over cosine theta. The same concept can be used on this side. We need to get the denominator as sine theta for both quantities. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator, which is 1, of this quantity by sine theta, which would get us sine squared theta over sine theta. Now both these quantities have the same denominator and both these quantities have the same denominator. So now we have open quantity 1 minus cosine squared theta closed quantity all over cosine theta plus cosine squared theta over cosine theta plus sine squared theta over sine theta plus open quantity 1 minus sine squared theta closed quantity all over sine theta. Now that we have the same denominator of both this quantity and this quantity, we can make both of them over the same denominator, which would give us open quantity 1 minus cosine squared theta, closed quantity, plus cosine squared theta, all over cosine theta. We can do the same thing over here. We can make these two quantities all over the same denominator, which would give us sine squared theta plus open quantity 1 minus sine squared theta, close quantity over sine theta. And we can simplify both sides. Here we would have, we can take away the parentheses and get 1 minus cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, which would also equal, since these two quantities cancel out, 1, giving us 1 over cosine theta on this side. On this side, we can do the same thing. We can remove the parentheses and simplify. Sine squared theta minus sine squared theta equals zero. So we can take that away and we're left with one over sine theta. So now we have one over cosine theta plus one over sine theta. We can replace this with this and this with this. Using the reciprocal identity, secant theta equals one over cosine theta we can substitute 1 over cosine theta with secant theta. And using the reciprocal identity, cosecant theta equals 1 over sine theta, we can substitute 1 over sine theta with cosecant theta. Notice how the colors of 1 over cosine correspond to secant, as blue and red mixed together equals purple. And also the shape of 1 over cosine theta equals secant theta. Also, notice how the colors of 1 over sine theta correspond to the color of cosecant theta, as blue and yellow mixed together equals green, and the shape of 1 over sine theta is the same shape as cosecant theta. This equals the right-hand side of our original equation. Thank you for watching. And we hope you have learned something about trigonometry today.